Welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. Hey guys, look, today's video, we're gonna go over circuit numbering and circuit labeling. So this is a electrical blueprint panel schedule. So you ever wonder how do you number those wires or why do you number the wires or what? why do you have so many different colors? Like black, red, blue, you have a white, you have a green. And then if you go on high voltage, you have brown, orange, yellow, um, and a gray and a green. But for this, for today's talk, we're gonna talk about low volt, 120, 208, circuit numbering and colors. So look, so first thing on your panel schedule, or if you look inside of your electrical panel, you have some breakers on the left side, you have breakers on the right side. So this is the panel schedule right here. So you have breakers that are on the left side, you have breakers that are on the, on the right side. Now, each one of those breakers has an associated number. So you're gonna go breaker number one, starting at the top is gonna be circuit one. Now below that, it's not gonna be two, it's gonna be three. So you have circuit one, and then you have circuit three. And then below that, you have circuit five. So you have three breakers, one, three, and five. That's on the odd side. Now if you go over to the other side where you have the other row of breakers, that's gonna be your even side. So same thing, that first breaker at the top is gonna be circuit two. The breaker right below it is gonna be circuit four. The third breaker underneath that one is gonna be circuit six. So it's gonna be two, four, six. Okay, so let's go back over this real quick. On this side, odd numbers, one, three, five. 7, 9, 11. On the right side, it's gonna go 2, 4, 6. So you're gonna have circuit 2, circuit 4, circuit 6. Then it's gonna go to circuit 8, circuit 10, 12, 14, and so on. Now, that, how, now we've established the numbering of the breakers from the even side to uh, the odd side, left to right. Now we're gonna look at the coloring. So you see right here, I have black, red, blue. And you see I have odd written right here and I have even written right here. So you have a, so that your first breaker right there, number one, is gonna be a black colored wire. Your next one, which is gonna be a three, circuit three, is gonna be red. Your next circuit on the neck is gonna be five. It's gonna be a blue. So it'll go black, red, blue. Now, same thing on the even side, it'll be the same thing. Circuit two will be a black. Circuit four will be a red. And circuit six will be a blue. So you have odd and even numbers. So odd is the left side. Even is gonna be the right side of that panel. So let's go look and see how we have our uh, wire reel set up. Okay guys, so we got black, red, blue, white, green, which is ground. So same thing, you saw how I had that labeling, black, red, blue, so this will be on my odd side, two, four, and six. Then on my even side, it'll say one, three, and five. If you look at this wire labeling book right here, you open it up on the inside, you see it has numbers in it. And you see it goes one, three, five. So let me go to the back of the book. Now it shows two, four, and six. So 
I will put one label. I will label my even side, my black, it'll be two. So I'll put a number two on this one. So I'll take this number two and I'll put it right on that, on that wire. So that's how I know when it comes time to hook up the wire to my circuit breaker or make up my junction boxes, I'll have a number two wire that I'll, I'll make up to number two breaker or to the to uh, circuit number two. That's how I will know where to land that wire on that breaker. Same thing when I make it on my J box, I have a circuit two on there. So everything that's labeled two in that box, they'll all tie together. So we're gonna take this two off of here and we're gonna put a one on it. Because one is gonna be the odd side. So this wire can be labeled a one or a two. So we'll take a one now and we'll label it circuit one. Okay guys, so last thing. So you see how we have these wires pulled in? You got a black, a red, and a blue. So, like I said, that black will be two, red will be four, blue will be six. So, we'll go into another video on installing the breakers and then actually landing the breakers, the number two breaker, you know, on this side, the number four breaker right here, the number six breaker. Then the number one breaker, number three breaker, number five breaker. We'll do that in another video. So guys, look, just want to make a quick short video. Uh, some people may say, man, I don't know. I don't understand why you put numbers on the wires or why you put uh, different colors for the wires. Well, look, it's all to make our job easier because what you don't want to do, you don't want to have uh, just all blacks and no red or no blue or no uh, brown or no yellows, you know If we already have to deal with so much math already uh, That just having a different colors is gonna make the job a lot easier. So here's one simple trick too, guys to um, Getting those numbers on those wires real quick. So It takes three fingers So the first finger is, is gonna be number two It's gonna be on the even side. You're gonna have this finger and this finger. So you go two four six so you got black red blue so now when you when you got like a number that's 24 and you're saying man i don't know what color that's gonna be so you just go two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four so i know that third finger is gonna be a blue so now i know uh that blue that i have is gonna be labeled 24. same thing for the odd side you got one three five seven nine eleven so i know 11 will be a blue same thing if i want to get a just say number one so number one is going to be first so it's going to be black if i want to do a circuit three that's going to be my middle finger which is going to be red all right guys so we're going to wrap this video up right here so this is not difficult but there are a lot of shortcuts and there are a lot of steps so this is a very repetitive uh thing you know, so doing it over and over and over, you're only gonna get better at it. Don't give up. We'll see you next time back at United Chasing Academy.